fortunate is the one who has a planet in the 10th house that is what they say yes today we will discuss on some secrets of the 10th house which everybody knows but they still fail to notice all right so many people had requested me to make this video on untold secrets of the 10th house like i made for the 5th house and for the 2nd house and for the 7th house and i will be making a video on the 11th house very soon all right so if you want to know more about the 10th house then you are the right place so if you want a consultation from me regarding the 10th house or any other area of your life or your career then you would go down to my description section where you will find the link to my web page and if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and yes today i must say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him because today we are going to discuss about the most powerful kendra house the kendras 1 4710 they are the pillars of the horoscope and among the kendras the 10th house is the strongest well what exactly is the 10th house some say it's the house of name fame status power position authority some say it's the house of independent profession some say it's the house of job some say it's the house of business well what it is well if you want to know what the 10th house is just check who is the primary karaka for the 10th house yes it's not sun it's not saturn it's mercury mercury is the primary karaka for the 10th house well sun saturn are also the karakas for the 10th house now let's try to understand the karakas karakas are significators if you do not understand the karakas for any house you cannot completely understand what the what the house is all about all right so what are karakas karakas they are significators i have a video on karakas in my astrology basics playlist so if you have not watched it then you could watch that so for the 10th house which are the karakas first we have sun why sun because sun represents the power and authority sun as i say is the planet of kingship to the to the extent you will have a kingdom in this world that's seen by the planet sun then we have saturn saturn is the hard work the discipline the labor the structure which we must have in any profession to excel there but the thing is these two are general because you can have authority anywhere which is the sun and you need to labor anywhere in any profession there's no profession where you can just sit and get money it doesn't happen but let's come to mercury mercury is the most important karaka for the 10th house but the question is why what's mercury actually mercury is none other than lord vishnu and the 10th lord or the planet in the 10th lord in the 10th house they say it behaves like lord narayan now what is narayan narayan and vishnu are same but the word narayan means if you if you break it nara and ayan nara means all the beings nara at a generic sense means human beings but at a even more universal sense it means everything that exists and ayan has many meanings one of the meanings is energy so the word narayan means the giver of energy to everything and anything that exists that you see that you don't see that you feel that you don't feel <laughs> that's what narayan is and what narayan is basically narayan is the one who is responsible for your sustenance in this world so that means that means that means the planet in the 10th house or the lord of the 10th house if you have planets then the planets or if you do not have any planet then the lord of the 10th house it will be the cause of your sustenance in this world and what do you mean 
when you say that somebody is famous because 10th house is the house of fame now why mercury is associated with it because mercury is the skill that you have that means any planet in the 10th house will behave like mercury that skill which is represented by that planet will be the cause of your sustenance will be the cause of your name fame and authority now you may be thinking that well everybody can have skills but why what's so special about the 10th house well 10th house is that skill which will make you famous because the word narayan also i mean because narayan is vishnu only and parashar muni defines the word bhagavan yes he says bhagavan god has to have six opulences about which we will discuss some other time but one of the opulences is wealth and fame is also one of the opulences of god which means he should have that at the highest capacity and more than anybody else in this world so that means that planet will also behave like as if he is the most famous so that is why the stronger the 10th house the more fame you have in life now how to know what will give you fame well it's very simple not that simple though <laughs> take the planet which is situated in the 10th house just check two things where which are the houses it is ruling in the chart and what is the natural signification of that uh, house or, or sorry that planet what are the karakas represented by that planet so for example let's talk of a uh, aquarius rising so for a aquarius rising suppose he has venus in the 10th house so now for aquarius venus rules which houses venus is the fourth lord and the ninth lord the sign taurus is in number 4 and the sign libra number 7 is in the ninth house number 9 so now venus is carrying the energies of the fourth house and the ninth house and it is sitting in the 10th house and it is telling you that hey look i am that skill of lord narayan i am that which can make you famous i am the planet that will sustain you you can use me how much ever you want to whatever extent whenever any time i am ready <laughs> because lord narayana never sleeps and he never blinks his eyes sometimes he blinks also <laughs> so therefore in this case what is the fourth house what is the ninth house this is how you have to combine houses and then you combine the planets so fourth house can represent property land real estate cars vehicles all such stuff and it also represents education fourth house represents settlement homeland home your home country ninth house represents foreign travel higher education so there you get the clue four and nine whenever they are linked fourth lord in ninth ninth lord in fourth great for education so now that means for a aquarius rising if venus the fourth lord and the ninth lord is in the 10th house it means things related to education will be the cause of his sustenance depending on the whole chart of course that's the disclaimer so that means now you also have to combine what venus is now see venus represents so many things it represents luxuries love romance beauty cosmetics things related to ladies females all the entire uh, perfume and then uh, cars 
luxury anything which is soft like you know the bed or uh, the pillows or cushions anything which is very soft that's represented by venus anything which is very fine it's like very refined you know, some liquids which are very refined they come under venus but now how will you know and yes venus is also the guru it also represents consulting so how will you know which aspect of venus it is that is going to sustain him yes so for that you just check the lordships now in a in case of a aquarius rising the lordship of venus is 4 and 9 that means something to do with education as i said before so now venus ruling the fourth and the ninth sitting in the 10th house can give him sustenance through matters of education and consulting it's like you gain knowledge give knowledge gain knowledge give knowledge gain knowledge give knowledge help others consult others give advice to others now suppose venus was the third lord for a leo ascendant for example i'm saying venus was the third lord now if the third lord is in the 10th house then the story is different third lord as venus in the 10th house that can represent creativity that can represent things like arts drawing now especially if you remember from uh, the navamsha lecture of vishti larsen where he said if venus is in the trines of the navamsha then the person can have good traits in uh, painting for example so now the next step that you need to do is see where this planet which is in your 10th house is placed in the navamsha all right so for example if for aquarius rising venus is in scorpio in the 10th house so we understood that things related to consulting things related to education and similar stuff will give him name and fame now let's go to the navamsha now suppose in the navamsha chart for this person venus is placed in the trines which means 1 5 and 9 that means he will have the full knowledge of venus if it's in the 9 then it can happen that he has to go to a guru to learn arts or painting or such similar stuff so then you could also suggest him that you could also take up things like drawing as a career it could be you could be a drawing teacher or a consultant in painting that could be something fantastic because that trait is coming from the d9 and now here venus is lording the fourth house and the ninth house that's the house of education and consulting uh, and venus is consulting all right because it's shukrachar it's the guru of the demons how to live in this material world all right so that that is how you will know that that will sustain him now suppose if in the navamsha venus is in a different house then you have to see how you can incorporate that into the d1 all right for that you have to know the navamsha well but anyways this is not a video on the navamsha but i'm saying how you can pinpoint what the person should be doing for getting name and fame now let's go one step further you i told that venus is in the 10th house now now in the 10th house for a aquarius rising you will have three nakshatras in scorpio because scorpio is the 10th house first nakshatra is vishakha the second is anuradha the third one is jeshtha so now suppose that person comes and asks you that oh i have venus in jeshtha for example then what what do you make out of this well then you have to say irrespective of the navamsha let's ignore the navamsha for now then you have to tell the person that jeshtha is the nakshatra of competition jeshtha has to do with rules laws legalities authorities dominance power competition such stuff so you have to tell the person that you will do very good in consulting related to education but you'll have lot of competition in the workplace 
you will have a lot of enemies which will try to pull you down and it could happen that time to time you need to take help of your seniors because indra has to request lord vishnu to come down and uh, protect his throne sometimes when the demons attack so this this is how you can caution the person that my dear sir this will be your scenario so that is how you can exactly use the 10th house all right and that represents the skill which will set you apart from everybody because that's the skill which will give you name and fame because that's nara and that sustains you narayan is lord narayan is famous all over the universe of course he may not be famous in netherlands holland germany us they may not know but if you read the prayers in the shrimad bhagavatam we have the purusha shukta prayers yes and then we also have the vishnu sahasranam then we also have that you know yam brahma varunendra rudra maruta sunavanti divyastavai gayanti beautiful it is so all the demigods you know yam brahma varunendra rudra maruta all the maruts all of them are stunavanti divyaistavai they are singing all the time gayanti yes they are doing stuti they are singing wow so all over the universe in the heavenly realms in the higher planetary realms as you know that there are 14 planetary realms according to the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam and the one which we stay is the seventh planetary realm bhu loka above this there are different systems bhu loka maha loka swarga loka jana loka gyana loka <laughs> jana loka is first or gyana is first i don't remember and then there is satya loka and then you have down seven below talatal atala sulat sutal mahatal like this patal is the last something like this so that means we can harness the power of this planet and depending on the whole chart you have to suggest what type of a career that person can take all right and what can sustain this person throughout life and what this what what should the person do to carry on his sustenance all right and if you do not have any planet in the 10th house then you have to check which are the planets that are aspecting this planet uh, this this house or where the lord of the 10th house is placed all right and now suppose you have a planet in the 10th house and the 10th lord is placed somewhere else then you have to see first you check where the 10th lord is which means the 10th lord's placement will tell you what is the inherent disposition what's the awareness about name and fame and working in life work doesn't mean working under somebody but in general what you do in life all right and then the planet which is there will tell you how that name and fame will come all right so this is in short about the 10th house and we will make more videos on the 10th house later and now due to interest of time i will stop this video all right so i hope you could get a gist of what the 10th house is and how that planet sustains you you can take the navamsha and we will also discuss on the dasamsa chart the d10 chart which is the divisional chart for career specifically and saturn is the atma karaka for the dasamsa chart because he shows labor all right so the 10th lord mercury and the sun name fame and saturn of course authority power all right so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding the 10th house or any other area of your life then please go down to the description section okay Until next time God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him